Hello, everybody. Day three of the Avian Expo coming to you from the Joy Dot City booth with Browsers. I have the Gorgy. The Gorgy? <laughs> wow. Like All right, we're going to start from the top. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is starting to go. Okay. Hello, everybody. Day three at the Avian Expo coming to you from the Joy Dot City Browsers booth. I have here Adeline Starr. Adeline, how are you doing? I'm great. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So, um, is this your first AVN? Or? It is my first AVN. And yes. how's it been for you so far? It's been exciting. I feel like, honestly, there's not enough time to do everything that yeah. I want to do. It's That's like, true. You have to be very selective. Yes. What are some of the things that like you really want to do that you're like what are the what are the things that you're struggling with doing one over the other um definitely like obviously I want to get in convention time but I'm also I'm from Texas so I'm super secluded from everyone else in the industry mm -hmm. so it's exciting to come to these events and then I get to collaborate with other models so it's like okay are you going to collab this day or be at the convention so right. just kind of deciding okay which is which is best for you right gotcha yeah because yeah, especially if you're like kind of isolated mm -hmm. from everybody else you want to come here you want to meet as many people as you can Correct, get your yeah. face out there and that kind of thing yeah. yeah that totally makes sense so you are a cam model right correct correct and uh, where do you stream I stream on Chatterbait okay yeah. and you've just started kind of dipping your toes into professional mainstream porn is yes. that right yeah it's, it's been exciting so tell us about that transition like how did that happen did you reach out mm -hmm. was some, did someone reach out to you who did you start with yeah um, so I was on Twitter it was the beginning of 2021 one and maybe around like um, beginning of the year and I only had like 3,000 followers mm -hmm. and next thing you know I get a Brazzers DM and they DM me and I'm like no like surely this is fake and then sure enough this was back before everyone had a blue check mark on right. Twitter but I saw a little blue check mark yeah. and I was like oh my gosh so I go and it was indeed Brazzers they said hey we want to chat with you and so we did like an initial kind of like a phone call over um over Skype or Zoom, what have you. And we just talked, and I was like, yes, I'd love to come on. And so next thing you know, by the next year, by January of the following year, um, they were like, hey, we want to put you with Reality Kings. So I did uh, Reality Kings. And then after that, I did um, two browser scenes. So tell us about that first scene. What was that like? Um, was it a boy-girl scene? It was a boy-girl scene. Had you yes. done boy-girl before for cam? I'd done camming, yeah. Okay. I, I used to be a unicorn in my personal life. Okay. So I'm very comfortable, very open. It's, Can you explain to those who may not know what a unicorn is? Okay, so a unicorn is exactly what it sounds like. Um, a young girl or just a person, just a girl or a single person. It can even be a single person um, who would like to be the addition to a couple. So, and it's usually really exciting. Usually there's like the unicorns and then there's the bulls and those are the single males who mm -hmm. are kind of like kind of like a unicorn but male version. Right, yeah. right. So I, I used to be in the lifestyle mm -hmm. and that I think that's what kind of like helped make stepping into this industry was much more easier because I was already free in, right, that, right. in that realm. So what was that first scene with Reality Kings like? Like take us through when you arrived on set because I'm sure it was a much different experience than just camming at home. Correct, correct. It was very different. It was really exciting. It was a lot more um, just a lot more calm and more tame than expected. I got on and the talent um, uh, was there. I had actually ran into him the day before. It was James Angel mm -hmm. at talent testing. And so it just made it a little bit easier since I had already met my talent mm -hmm. at talent testing. He was like, hey, do you want to go get tacos later? I know you're free. If you just want to kind of get to know each other, I know it's your first professional scene. Oh, that's so nice And it was of nice. Him. And there was like nothing else involved. It wasn't like, hey, let me get at yeah, you yeah. before our scene. Or I mean, he knew like he was going to get you yeah, eventually yeah, anyways, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it was He didn't like, have to like, I mean, I guess he did have to charm you because if you went out for tacos, with him and he was like super creepy and off-putting you probably yeah. would have been like you know can I yeah. get somebody else yeah, yeah. so it, it made for a really like organic scene mm -hmm. um, because we already did like establish like hey we know each other so, yeah. yeah that's nice what was it like like just being on set with like you know crew members there and it was, like it was actually honestly a much uh, smaller crew mm -hmm. um, than anticipated and um, and it was very different from my browser's um, yeah. crew. So the Reality Kings was a little bit smaller, but still, it was just a lot more like laid back. Yeah. And just, it was a natural flow. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Sorry, it's Tommy Gunn over there. I haven't yeah, seen him in tight. forever. Um, so tell me about your browser scene then, because you said your browser yeah. scene was a much different experience. Yeah, so that one was, um, I actually, they had me booked for two back to back. So it was like, okay, like, Game like this. prime time yes. one and prime time two, so it was exciting because I walked in and it was com- like so much camera crew, mm-hmm. the um, hair and makeup stylist. Um, it was it was exciting because I think she ended up no I was on set for that one. Um, one of the ones I ended up having hair and makeup sent to my hotel room mm-hmm. and I was like wow this is the first time this is like happened for yeah. me. I, I felt very special and official so <laughs> that was exciting. Um, but walking onto Brazzer set was. I wouldn't say like overwhelming because I'm, I'm very well with crowds. I can do good with crowds, but it was a quite a bit of people. A lot of, like I said, just camera crew. The talent assistant was amazing, yeah. super nice. And um, it was a lot of just hair and makeup prepping for the scene. And it was exciting because we did we shot a scene in the bathroom and there was a guy in the shower holding the microphone, like dangling over where we were shooting. And Sounds he, about right. And it was just, so funny because he's like in a stand like a, a stand up shower and it just like is, is this good am I doing okay like is that is it out of the shot is yeah. it out of the camera so it was it was it's funny. pretty funny um, Matt who's actually recording this for me right now will tell you as a sound man the crazy spots that he's had to squeeze himself mm-hmm. into in order to get um, the sound recording it's um, yeah it can sometimes be a, an interesting experience for sure yeah it was, there was even, we even had to shoot with um, some like GoPro footage, what mm-hmm. have you, and uh, we had to film a very particular part of the scene, so even, we had to install a bidet, mm-hmm. long story short, I had to have a bidet, and so it was funny getting the guys, to watching the guys install a bidet, and I've installed a bidet all by myself at my house, and they couldn't get it to work, so I kind of let them do their thing, and then I was like, okay, let me, here, let, let, me, let me go <laughs> ahead and help that. you, but you have, to, you have to let them do it themselves yes. first. Okay. Of and course. then you stop it. Of so. course. You have to let the men fail before the woman <laughs> steps in to save the day. Very important. Yeah. So that, that was that was my first browser's experience. That's awesome. I love that. Well, I know that uh, next time I need some handy work done on my set. Oh, my god. I know who to call. Yeah, yeah. For, by all means. I'm in Texas. It might take me a little while, but I'll, I'll, I'll show up for you. Um, so are you going to the awards tomorrow night? I am not. No. I, I'm probably going to just go out and have a nice dinner and enjoy myself. I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm not going to the awards either. And I feel like we are the smart ones. Yeah. 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 I've been to a few other award shows and I'm just like, okay, like, hey, I was in a category with tons and tons and tons of other models and I'm still very new to the industry. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey, it's okay. I'm good. Like, I'm just happy and honored to have a nomination Mm -hmm. for AVN, literally my first AVN. Yeah, that's great. (laughs) Yeah. What what was your nomination for? Uh, Favorite cam model. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. That's really great. Yeah. Yeah, no, I hear you. I am also nominated in a category full of a lot mm-hmm. of nominees so mm-hmm. but it's also not a category that one goes up on stage to accept anyways oh, so even if I okay. did win I, no one's gonna miss me yeah. so they can just ship me my award because I am gonna win right because it's yes. for best adult yes. industry podcast yes. and I need to win that one it's the only one I deserve AVN <laughs> it's fine I'm not yeah. like bitter or anything Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming to join us. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. Can you tell everyone where they can find you yes, online? I am Adeline Star. You can find me on Twitter at beauty underscore busty. And that's about it. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and then you guys can find me at Holly Randall on Twitter and on Instagram. But of course, where you really want to go is to joy.city. Sign up for email updates so you can be kept in the know about all things metaverse we're so excited to be launching the first adult metaverse here at avn and we have some incredible incredible announcements things coming your way and you don't want to miss out on that so make sure you go to joy.city and sign up now thank you guys so much for watching we will see you next time thank you